Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and in today's reformer workout, it's gonna be a no-nonsense, let's just get to it, let's flow, let's work hard, transition from one exercise to the next, try to get a sweat on, release endorphins, that kind of workout today. So I am working on a balanced body piece of equipment, so for those at home that are working on a different model, I'm gonna make those recommended spring settings for you. Um, for those that are new, welcome. I have over 35 different apparatus workouts here on the channel. And for those that have been thinking about becoming a Pilates instructor, thinking about enhancing their own Pilates practice, I am a master trainer. Function Pilates does have their own teacher training program, so I'd love to talk more about how you can become certified um, or you can put together your own workouts at home. And for those that are interested in becoming a Pilates studio owner, becoming a business owner, having your own Pilates studio in your area, Function Pilates is a groundbreaking franchise, so I would love to talk more about that information with you as well. Everything's gonna be in that description box linked below, including some other recommended workouts similar to this one. So if everyone's ready to get started, let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and begin with our footwork. So I'm gonna set myself up for comfortable footwork springs, which are two reds, a green and a yellow, which is three and a half springs if you're working on a balanced body. It's about a medium to a little under heavier weight. So go ahead and set yourself up, lie yourself down. Let's organize our heels on that foot bar, parallel hip distance apart, and go ahead and push out. As you extend your legs, think of the back of the knees pressing towards the floor. We're gonna stabilize through those ankles as if your feet were resting against a wall. And the focus is to minimize the movement of your feet so that we are stabilizing through our ankles in order to help strengthen them. Arms are down long beside you, palms are flat, fingertips are forward. Bring it in halfway for those small pulses, isolating right above the knee. And on that 10th one, push out to straight legs and return in. Let's shift it down to your toes, heels are lifted. Take an exhale to press out. Inhale, resist those springs on your return in. So focus on the back of the neck here, elongating, the ribs connecting as you take your exhale. So as you exhale, ribs pull together, the abs tighten up. It helps to really connect with the pelvic floor and stabilize those hips. Beautiful. Lots of full attention and focus in your core. Halfway in, we're gonna drop the heels under, lift the heels up, holding that halfway position, really getting those quads and calves working nice and hard. Feel that heat, articulate through the ankle, and on your 10th one, you're gonna go ahead and push out to straight legs, and return and come back in. Okay, so heels together, toes apart. Take an exhale to zip those inner thighs together. Inhale to soften the knees. Remember, nice and controlled, really careful as you bend those knees to return in so you're not coming in to bang the stopper. But really focus on those heels hugging nicely together. Equal weight distribution in the ball of the feet. Halfway in, add small pulses once again. Not super huge, but really minimize the movement of the carriage to isolate the quads and return home. Let's bring those heels up on top of the bar nice and wide, a slight turned out position there with the knees. Again, we're going back to that stabilization through the ankles here. So think of your feet resting up against a wall. Exhale to push out, feel those ribs pulling in, funneling together. Inhale to feel those ribs expand laterally. Back of the neck is nice and long as the top of the head reaches to the back of the room. Adding those small pulses if that feels good for you, up to 10. And on that last one, stretch those legs, return yourself back home. Moving it down to the toes, let's go ahead and bring those heels up into that stiletto heel. You got it. Really nice and challenged through the ankle. And because we're on our toes, it really adds extra distance as we're going through this series. So it's going to feel more challenging. Beautiful. Pay attention if you haven't already. Glance at your toes. Make sure all of your toes are pressing into the foot bar. Let's bring it in halfway and then pull those knees together and open. 
like windshield wipers. You got it. Extra burn there through those quads, through those inner thighs. About 10. And on that last one, you can stretch those legs out and return home. All right, let's bring it back into the center here. Toes are on, drop those heels under together. Focus on the control. The emphasis is on the lift. Beautiful. So about 10 calf raises here, and we'll go through uh, about three variations with our calf raises. So if 10 is too much today, go ahead and decrease those repetitions. Second variation, let's go ahead and turn those big toes towards one another so you're internally rotated from the hip socket. Beautiful. Lower those heels under, exhale to push up. Again, really focus on that breath. Beautiful. Our third variation, we're doing heels together, toes apart. Again, feel that inner thigh wrapping together, zipping through those inner thighs. Focus on belly button dropping towards the floor here, really tightening up through the core and bend those knees. Let's go ahead and carefully sit yourself up. We're gonna go ahead and drop it down to one medium spring and I'm working on one red spring. And then we're gonna take this into seated footwork, but really it's not even about the footwork anymore. It's gonna be more about challenging our balance and core here. So have a seat on your foot bar safely, organize the heels at the edge of the carriage, cross those arms into a genie position, and go ahead and carefully press the carriage out and really work on the resistance coming back in again. So it might feel light and that's the idea. The objective is to challenge your core. So you should feel your abs working as you balance yourself in this upright position. Beautiful job. Keep breathing for me. Think of inhaling to push out, exhaling to pull in. Let's move it down to the toes. And then in that genie arm position, Whatever way you are stacked, let's do the opposite. So it might feel a little awkward. A small lift through those heels. And again, our upper body is so still, so quiet, like it's in between two panes of glass here. Beautiful work. Focus on that breath. Are those shoulders dropped? Are you looking straight ahead or are you looking down? Heels together, toes apart. Again, really focus on that core being activated. And then if you have the challenge in you today, interlace those hands behind the head and carefully, again, going through those movements, extending long through the legs and returning home. Now say it's too challenging to extend those legs out all the way. Do the best you can. Go halfway, go to the point where you feel like you're going to lose the balance and then that's your stopping point and then work your way into that progression where you know eventually you're gonna have your legs go out to straight legs. Okay, let's carefully come back down. Stay on that same spring, so don't shift those springs just yet, and grab a hold of your standard box. Let's go long ways, headrest is gonna go down. We're gonna go ahead and continue with this ab flow. So handles are on, scoot yourself up towards the edge of the box, but you have enough room because we're gonna be lowering ourselves down. So bicep curl it here, hold it, tuck that tailbone in, scoop the belly, pause. Take a breath, push your feet into the headrest as you maintain that bicep curl and then restack yourself into a seated position. Let's do it again. Nod your chin, exhale to slowly lower yourself down, shoulder blades touch the edge of the box. Exhale to push those feet deeper, 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 and then let's go ahead and return up. So the goal is to articulate through the spine. Once we tap our shoulder blades down, take a moment to pause. And then the coming up part, we wanna deepen the connection through our abs. So in order to do that, you really wanna focus on pressing your feet down and it totally makes the difference. Beautiful, shoulders away. Scoop that belly, you have it. And restack to the top, okay. Let's do a little chest expansion. So sitting tall, palms are facing behind you. Let's widen that chest. 
Think of your arms kind of reaching in opposite directions of the room. Exhale to push back using your lats. And then let's go into a different variation. So palms are looking at each other and then we open wide to a T. Still the same idea of using our lats, but we're gonna get a little bit more posterior deltoid involved, which is the back of the shoulder here. Beautiful. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna scoot ourselves up. Find that bicep curl again and hug it there. Hold. Once you are good on the box, take those legs one at a time to tabletop and then exhale to continue with your bicep curl. Now, if this is too hard in this intermediate position, keep the feet resting just like we did previously. So arms are floating, elbows are in nice and tight towards the body. We're doing about 10 repetitions, so anywhere from six to 10 is a good starting point. Turn those palms down, straight arms. It's almost like double leg stretch in mat series. So you're gonna extend your legs out as the arms lift up. Remember, the easier it will be as the legs go higher towards the ceiling, the more challenging it will be when the legs are going lower towards the floor. But we wanna maintain the integrity of our neutral spine. So if you are arching your back, you're going too low with your legs. Tabletop the legs, extend one leg out at a time as the arms simultaneously open to a T. Yes, just feel those abs working, just feel the heat internally starting to deepen within your body. Perfect, about five each side. And then from here, pull those arms up. Let's take a nice big circle, good. Exhale to reach, inhale to open. It's three one way, three the other way. Hold those heels up nice and high, a very energetic tabletop, and then start pumping those arms for me into hundreds. So stay in tabletop or extend the legs out to 45. Find what works best for you today. Yes, and then really just try to stabilize the carriage as hard as that can be, but have little movement here. Keeping those arms long, breathing in for five counts and breathing out for five counts. Perfect. You're almost there. And then let's go ahead, drop one leg at a time and we got this. Use your abs, push those feet and then return back up. Good job. Let's go ahead and hang those up. We're gonna change them into the loops to get ready for our glute series here. So if you're not already in loops, go ahead and do that right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop our spring tension down to a blue spring or a half spring, or in other cases, it's just gonna be a light spring. You could totally do that with the spring tension you had on. So see what works better for you today. And then on your knees, you're gonna go ahead and slide that loop on very carefully, hold on to those shoulder blocks, and then stand up for me. Let's make a soft bend in your right knee, and then begin to lift that left leg straight back behind you. Yes, so it's not only the left leg that's gonna feel this work, we're gonna feel this in the right side because that is our stabilizing side. And with that soft knee, soft knee, that bend at the knee, you're gonna feel those glutes really working. So anywhere from six to 10 repetitions. So on our last one, what we'll do is we're gonna hold our legs straight up there and then little pulses upward. Again, that emphasis of lifting, the entire backside of your leg here lifting. Feel that glute, you got it. Bend that knee in for external rotation. Push with the heel to feel those glutes really working here. And I know that right side should be feeling it. If it's not, bend that knee down a little bit more. Try to relax your shoulders as you're holding this position. Beautiful. Big exhale to pull that belly in towards the spine and inhale to bend. Reach and let's return and come back down. Okay, 
down to your knees. Let's carefully remove that loop. Let's hang it back on the peg. And before we hit that other side here, I'm gonna go ahead and change up that spring tension. And we're not gonna have any springs on, so really careful here. No springs on or your very lightest spring possible. Hands on the frame, thumbs are on top. You're gonna jackrabbit here to pull those knees in towards the chest, allowing that carriage to glide in towards your chest. That's why we don't have any springs. It is all your own body weight here, guys. So just be mindful of how many works well for you today. I'm doing about 10 repetitions. Anywhere from three to 10 is a great starting point. Beautiful, belly button up, really protecting that spine. And then carefully, let's bring it back down. Good job. Okay, so let's add that blue spring back on or whichever spring you were working on with your glute series. And then we're gonna attach that loop around the foot. We're gonna carefully take those hands back to the shoulder blocks, tuck, curl those toes, and then stand yourself up. So elongate through that right side, soften through that left knee, and then exhale to pick up that leg. Good, shoulders away from those ears abs up towards the spine, taking that breath. You got it. Remember, we have about 10 repetitions here. On that last one, we'll, we'll go in for that pulsing, just so you're well aware. Beautiful. Focus on equal weight distrib distribution in that left foot as well. Add those pulses when you're ready. Nice. Keep reaching, lifting higher and higher. Bend the knee in, flex the foot, press that energy out through the heel. Notice the difference there as you reach out from your heel. Good work. And if you feel like you're too far forward, let's lean you back a little bit and then see how much more that left glute awakens. Awesome. And then carefully, let's bring it down. Good, okay, so bend your knees, come back to the carriage, let's eliminate that loop. We're gonna go back to a plank series with no springs again. So if that was too challenging for you, I would suggest keeping just a lighter spring on, just to give you a, a little bit of help. And then this time we're gonna go into our pikes. So back to plank, curl those toes on the carriage. Once you're ready, find your form in plank, abs up, tuck your tailbone down. Take an exhale to lift your hips high towards the sky, inhale to drop. So emphasize the exhale, really utilize the breath to get the movement and the flow going through the exercise. Careful not to collapse through your shoulder blades because we are in plank and that tends to happen. So scoop up from your pelvic floor, deepen that connection, belly button up towards the spine. Beautiful work. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And then carefully let's bring it back home. Excellent. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and add springs back on. And I'm adding on a red and a blue spring, which is one and a half springs. Um, it's typically the weight that you would do if you had feet in straps. So find those springs. Lie yourself down and keep your head rest down because we're gonna go into long spine, which is a spinal articulation exercise. So once we're here, palms are down flat. Let's go ahead and find ourselves at 90 degrees. Take an inhale to prepare and exhale to articulate the spine as you lift those toes towards the ceiling. Open the legs, roll yourself down about hip distance apart. Once your tailbone connects, circle those legs around, back to 45, inhale to 90. Exhale to peel the spine directly up. Open about hip distance, roll gently, massage the spine down. Tailbone connects, we circle the legs around. 
good, let's try it again. We're gonna lift ourselves up, separate, slowly think of a string of pearls as your spine lowers down with control. Sweep those legs, circle them around. Good, now let's reverse it. So we're gonna separate the legs first. Now pick up the spine, hold, take the legs together, lower your spine down piece by piece, push the legs down, circle them around. And now they're separated once again as we lift up, they close, we articulate the spine, one bone at a time connects to the mat, both legs go down together, they circle around. We pause one more time here, guys. Exhale to lift up, inhale to close, exhale to roll yourself down piece by piece by piece. Send both legs down and circle all the way around. Give yourself a little stretch there through those hamstrings. Give You can tug on those straps. And again, this workout is about flow and just transitioning from one next exercise to the next to keep our stamina and keep our heat. So we're not gonna stay there stretching too long. So let's carefully go ahead and sit ourselves up. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into a little bit of full body. So one red spring or one blue spring. I'm gonna be on just a blue spring here. So toes at the edge of the carriage. Plank, then we're piking, yes. So try to stabilize through the upper body and use that work to pull up from the tailbone and from the belly. Exhale, lift, strong through the shoulders. If you tend to hyperextend through those elbows, soften through those elbows. Add a jackrabbit if that feels fun for you today. Make sure you're not sinking into your low back. Bend those knees, stretch them. Bend the knees, stretch them. And these are small jackrabbits. And return and come back home. Okay, take a moment, regroup. We're gonna do an oblique version here. So tippy toe it, send your right ankle over your left. Drop your right hip into the well and then pike yourself back up. So it's a rotation, then we derotate to pike up. Drop the right hip down, dip it in, and then pike to re-square yourself. Beautiful. Again, that work is coming from those obliques, so you wanna lift with those obliques. Excellent. And sometimes it takes a few just to get going, so once you have felt it, the number of repetitions after that is all going to benefit you. So again, I'm doing anywhere from about six to 10 repetitions here. So find what works best for you. Other side, tippy toe, left ankle over right. We're still square through the shoulders, but then we drop the left hip into the well. So the hips are shining through towards the camera. Perfect. And we dip for the inhale. We exhale to pike and derotate. Nice work here, guys. Try to elongate through your neck if it's getting a little bit too much tension in your upper traps or your shoulders. And then let's go ahead and settle back down. Good. Let's go ahead and adjust our springs once again. So I'm still on the loops here, and I'm going to bring it down to just a half spring, which is a blue spring or a light spring. Let's serve the tray. So elbows in next to the body, in this kneeling position, extend those arms out nice and long. Palms are looking up. Perfect. You can always modify this by sitting on the box or sitting on the carriage. You don't have to kneel or you can grab a knee pad if your knees are bothering you. Hug a tree, so palms are now looking at one another. Fingertips are gently pulling in towards the midline. Keep those arms in your peripheral vision and focus with control. Exhale to pull the fingers in, inhale to open. Let's go ahead and carefully set that left strap down. 
And then we're gonna add in a little bit of more oblique. So kneel up, interlace, take an exhale to rotate through the spine back through center. So you rotate towards your loop and then you exhale to square yourself off again. Yeah, we're really getting into those obliques today. So if you have a healthy spine and can do all this rotation, go for it. It's gonna feel really nice and healthy for the spine. Anywhere from six to 10 repetitions, we'll find that other side. So again, feet are still supported by the shoulder blocks. Interlace those hands. And again, you're not pulling with the arms. This work is coming literally from the obliques. So focus on that. Think about where am I activating from in order to make my rotation, in order to square myself through center. Because a lot of the times we tend to want, if we're getting fatigued, we tend to use our arms. So again, challenge yourself to rotate through your spine and use your obliques. All right, since we're here, let's just take a nice hip flexor stretch in this kneeling lunge. So if this is too much of a psoas stretch, take your right foot and place it on the ledge below that foot bar if you have that opportunity to, if your model is designed that way. And take it into your hamstring stretch, back to your hip flexor, and just do that anywhere from two to three times just to feel that openness through the psoas and through the hamstring. And really challenge yourself to square through your hips to get that deeper hamstring stretch. Perfect. Once we're ready, we'll switch to the other side. So nice and tall, think of your hips pushing forward and your chest lifting high in order to feel that hip flexor stretch on the right side. And then as you push out with your left leg, you're gonna feel that stretch transfer into the back of the left leg here, our hamstrings. Nice. Again, anywhere from two to three times here, guys. Keep breathing and then go ahead and come on off. All right, so we're grabbing a hold of the box and we're gonna take it on long ways, vertical. Foot bar can go down flat. And then we're also going to have our loops. So we're gonna go into brush strokes. So thumbs attached to the loops, go ahead and pull on them so that you can carefully get on the box. I'm gonna go ahead and bend my knees and cross my ankles. So let's just begin by doing our Superman here. So elbows are in line with our shoulders. We're gonna straighten our arms out to reach overhead. And then I do want the backside activated, so really go ahead and keep your thighs floating off the box, adding those pulses to feel those hamstrings and glutes here working. Yes. So if you let your thighs rest on the box, you're not, you might end up getting low back pain here. So we really need those glutes to be activated. Knees are separated. Add those pulses again. You got it. Beautiful. Deep breath. We're going to reach, circle those arms around. We can do it. Reach, circle them around. Exhale to reach and circle around. Good, keep your eyesight to the floor. Don't look straight ahead. Excellent, we want that cervical spine to stay in line with the rest of our body. One more set of pulses here, guys. Lift, exhale, lift, exhale, lift. Grab a hold of the edge of the box and carefully return home. All right. So hang those loops up and then we're gonna go ahead and transfer our box to short box. So it's horizontal, it's resting against the shoulder blocks. We're going into side over, so if um, you're taller, you can always take your shoulder block, um, I'm sorry, your box over the shoulder blocks. Find your strap to connect your foot under, your safety strap. Keep that foot flexed and your left leg long. Let's start by interlacing those hands behind the head. We're gonna dip ourselves down at a diagonal into the well. 
So about five regular ones here, and then we're gonna get a little fancy. So if it's too fancy for you, keep with the five regulars and add an additional five after that. So we're gonna go ahead and dip it down, rotate, open your arms to eagle, now derotate, let's bring it back up, and exhale, open, turn, and return up. Good, dip it down, rotate to square the floor, open the arms long, exhale it up, you got it. Dip it around, stretch those arms, focus on those ribs connecting, and sit yourself up, nice. Good work here, guys. We're almost through. So take those hands behind the head, chest is lifted, dip it down. Again, just keep it basic. And I challenge you to try to do exactly the same thing you did on the other side, just to maintain the evenness of our body. Once you're ready, we're adding in that variation. Lift. So dip it down, rotate, open your arms to a T, derotate, come back up, and exhale it. Good, open out, derotate, sit on up, hands behind the head, we dip, we turn, we open to a T, derotate, lift up, and relax it. Good, good job. All right, guys, we are through. Let's finish it with a couple roll downs to go on the, with the rest of our day. So hip distance apart, sweep those arms up overhead. Go ahead and lower yourself down. Take inventory, check in with your body. How is it feeling? Carefully restack up one vertebra at a time. One more, take it all the way down. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, hit a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not, and I will see you next time.